Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of Inspirational Guns. So this month I have a very, very cool one. The second rifle I ever bought, yeah, the second rifle I ever bought, I'll get to that in a second. It is going to be a Sporterized Enfield number 4 Mark 1. So what is so special about this beat up old Sporterized number 4 Mark 1? Well, there's a couple things. Well, first and foremost, like I mentioned before, <laughs> this is the second gun I ever bought. Now, why that's important is because I sold the first gun I ever bought to get this. Now, I'm not one of those people that sells his firearms, so that's kind of a big deal. So the first one I ever bought, I sold it, so I get this one. I've had it ever since, and I've loved it ever since. So this one actually set a lot of milestones for me. It actually turned me on to older firearms big time and then I went down several other rabbit holes in the aftermath but this is the one that started me on old rifles got me kind of away from the plastic stuff uh, obviously she is a bolt action 303 and it maintains quite a bit of the original production even though obviously when they sporterized it they altered it and I have no idea who did it but whoever altered it put on new sights took the old sight off shortened up the stock on there and did kind of crap job on there like the barrel band up here it likes to slide up and down from time to time and I got to be mindful of this old nub right here but man yeah, by and large over the past old you know 20 some odd years it's held on pretty good the sights are not bad there are William sights on the rear there and it's adjustable for elevation and unfortunately I don't have the original parts or anything like that I mean I bought it as is but it does retain a lot of the old markings and stuff and boy is that really cool 1942 and there's I haven't done the research on quite a bit of them it's an English made one it says England right on the side I can only assume that that means it was produced in England. These other markings, hey guys, shout it out if you know what they mean. To me, in my young 18 year old eyes, this was probably one of the coolest things I could possibly get my hands on. And so, I still kind of believe that today it's really cool. Now, uh, again, it is sporterized. It doesn't really look like a Bubba job either. Maybe, more or less, I suppose, I don't know. All in all, I mean, the rifle's in very good condition, even though it is obviously beat up. It's 1942 production, as it says right there on the side. The wood's still in very good shape, few nicks and dings and things like that. Loads and shoots just fine. We'll be seeing that in about a second. And I got another video coming up, a full video for this rifle. And uh, it's, it's, it's an absolutely fantastic rifle. So I did give some consideration to restoring it. And basically what I have to do is I would take these sights off, find a way to fill in all these drill holes and stuff, and the frogs back there are talking. I would have to get new parts of the sights. I'd have to get a new stock on there, the whole nine yards. And the more I thought about it is I would rather not. I'm just gonna get another number four. And the reason for that is well, one, this is the second rifle I ever bought, and this is probably one of the most influential rifles that I ever bought. It's, it means a lot to me, and I don't think I would want to restore it. It kind of would make it generic in my eyes, if that makes any sense. Uh, kind of take away some of the personal value to it. But anyway, it's accurate enough, and I set a shaving cream can down there, just kind of give you guys a quick sneak peek before we hit the full video. <laughs> that did it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so maybe at 50 yards, it's still shooting a little bit high. <laughs> I haven't messed with this thing in so long, but we'll have fun with it in the full video. And we'll talk more about the magazine too. Now, the nice thing about it is, even though some of the parts were taken off, you can still load it with the stripper clips, no problems. Now, for the longest time, I was just individually loading it, but I got a whole mess of these, so I've been loading them with that, and it's just, <laughs> it's just like the original thing, in the, in the original configuration anyway. All I did was more or less ugly it up. <laughs> But anyway, I, I love the darn thing, is a, even though it's an ugly duckling, and it, it shoots straight, and it's always done me good. Taking many a critter with it, and taking up many a hornet's nest with it, this, that, and the other thing. So, anyway, that's about it, guys. Pretty quick on this one. Sorry the video is a little bit late. I just came back from vacation. I got this awesome beard to show for it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show this one off for you guys. I think you would enjoy this. And when I do the full video, I think you're really gonna enjoy that. So tell me what you guys think. What was the, uh, the first or second rifle that you ever bought? What brought you into whatever realm of guns that you like? If you're like uh, an oldies fan, or you like the new stuff, tell us about it, you know? And uh, obviously if you wanna see more content like this, let me know about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your buddies. Until next time.